and nobody's died of radiation at Fukushima. Nobody's died, for goodness sake. Yeah. Um, and, and nobody will. I mean, you can, one of the things I, I, I do in, in, in lecture, take the, the figures from Hiroshima and Nagasaki and look at the number of people who had so and so much radiation at Fukushima, and they work out how many of them are likely to die in the next 50 years. And the answer is one, in total. Very, so very maybe that's nothing, but... Uh, what, what, what's next for your book or for your uh, uh, communication uh, with uh, the public? As I say, I want to see more nuclear power stations, and I don't want to see people frightened of them. Uh, I, most importantly, these regulations which were built up over of the last 50 years as a result of the Cold War and radiation being used as a, as a weapon in the, uh, in, in the uh, uh, nuclear arms race and so on, um, we've got to put that behind us. The radiation isn't a problem for the world. What the problems are uh, socio-economic instability uh, and uh, climate change and food and water and population. Uh, that's where the trouble's coming from, and we nuclear is nothing but positive on all of those grounds, and we need it. I said, I've got six grandchildren, and I want them to live in a nuclear world, and that's why I'm here. The situation may be worse than thought. Uh, studies from last year indicate that radioactive water will contaminate the entire Pacific Ocean in just six years. Kim Minji reports. This graphic shows the gradual contamination of the Pacific Ocean due to leaks of radioactive water from the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan. The simulation, which was run by a German marine research institute, shows the entire Pacific waters being polluted by radioactive water in just six years.